Andrew Neil has admitted he is not a huge fan of Brexit but still despises how Remainers reacted after they lost the EU referendum. The TV veteran was engaged in a back and forth on Twitter when he hit out. Mr. Neal said he is opposed to Remainer rhetoric which sees Britain branded as crap because the public decided to leave the EU. Mr. Neal made the comments when responding to someone who asked the broadcaster, out of interest, if so supportive of Brexit, why do you have a nice retreat in France? He then wrote, actually I'm not a huge fan of Brexit. But I'm even less a fan of economic hokum. That's why I challenge the absurd or unprovable. I also didn't like the way so sick Remainers decided Britain was crap because they lost the referendum. Dozens of social media users agreed with the broadcaster and pointed out Remainers' repeated inability to accept the result was why they lost the vote in the first place. One person said, and that's why they lost Andrew. I was going to vote Remain at the start of the campaign, but the Remain side came out with so much nonsense it just pushed me away. A second user said, as a Remainer, this is exactly how I feel as well, and it's why I find myself siding with many Brexit voters now. This disparagement of our country must stop. A third agreed and wrote, and I am exactly the same. Another person said, this is a really good point I've not heard before, but so true, ever since the Brexit vote Remainers have trumpeted that everything about the country is terrible. It was like a switch was flicked among all those who are so unaccustomed to not getting their way. It's so evident. One reader simply replied, well said sir. Britain officially left the European Union at the end of January, but the country remains in a transition period until December 31st. The UK and Brussels are still trying to negotiate a post-Brexit deal, even though time is desperately running out for an agreement to be reached. On Tuesday the EU's chief negotiator, Michel Barnier, warned that without a major negotiating shift by Downing Street within the next 48 hours he will pull out of the talks due to take place in London this weekend. If a deal is not reached the UK will leave the EU on WTO terms, something many hardcore Brexiteers are in favour of.